The car is a 2004 Range Rover. The car is currently 21 years old. It has standard factory soundproofing installed here. Here. And corrosion has already formed in some places in the body. The car has been completely overhauled on the outside, and nothing has been done behind the trim. Now the car has arrived for soundproofing. And I would like to show you how cars rot under soundproofing, under vibration insulation. I have not yet removed the factory soundproofing itself, so I do not know if there is rot there or not. Now we will see how things are there, and you will draw your own conclusions. There are hot spots in the trunk of the car and in the interior, where moisture accumulates. Here we have a place in the trunk. There is a hole here. And a large amount of corrosion has formed around it. Here it is loose and this corrosion is already quite old. We will have to clean it down to the bare metal and treat it with anti-corrosion primers, etch the rust. Only after that will vibration insulation be installed on the metal. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that we have corrosion in these places where there is no vibration insulation. It is also missing here, it is already showing through the paint. There is rust here, the paint is swollen. This needs to be cleaned. Now let's try to remove this piece of vibration insulation. In fact, it is installed incorrectly, like all the vibration insulation that was installed here at the factory. It was simply glued on by hand. You see, this is factory vibration. Nobody glued it here, that is, it was cut out with a planer. So, our trunk in this car is soundproofed. Well, let's remove this piece and see what's underneath. Pay attention to the condition of the metal under the vibration insulation. It is ideal, it is new. Even in this place, where we have a plug installed, the material was not rolled in enough, where there was a little air. There is not a single source of corrosion here. In general, the metal under this piece of vibration isolation is in perfect condition. By the way, as you have noticed, vibration isolation is very, very difficult to remove. Here we have a piece of vibration isolation that was removed from a car. I can say that the mastic here is of very high quality. I have not seen such among our manufacturers. Our mastic is a little different. Firstly, it is all dark in color and its composition is a little different. It is more elastic. This mastic is harder and stretches very, very strongly when torn off. And our mastic, it is a little softer but also quite hard and stretches. I can say that I like this mastic more visually and by feel. Here. But I repeat, I have not seen such materials as this, so we glue what, as they say, we have. This is our acoustic extreme. Quite high quality vibration isolation, lightened by 30% and also with quite good quality mastic. I would like to point out one of the disadvantages of installing factory vibration isolation, that it is not rolled, but simply glued. And in places where it is not rolled, a huge amount of debris accumulates, to the point that it seeps through the hole and here inside, this is bad. But nevertheless, even with such poor quality installation of the material, there is no corrosion underneath.
Accordingly, we can conclude that the vibration isolation of the car works as an anti-corrosion. The only and mandatory point that must be taken into account is that the material works as an anti-corrosion only if you glue it to a new car, or a car in which there is no corrosion at all. If you glue the material onto corrosion or onto blistered paint, under which there is corrosion, 100% corrosion will continue to develop. By the way, this is where the myths arose about the car rotting under the vibration isolation. This is, in fact, a pure myth. Look, the car is 21 years old, nothing is rotting under the vibration isolation, and in places where there is no vibration isolation, corrosion has already formed due to moisture accumulation. That's all. And our vibration isolation separates the metal from moisture and any liquids, including oxygen, which makes it impossible for corrosion to simply form. If this was helpful, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up or a heart, and see you soon.